I got my phone ready. I got extra batteries ready. I got my ticket ready. I got my camera ready. Tons of lenses, extra batteries, what have you. STGCC 2017. Let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna just vlog. Hopefully, you can hear me. I'm right outside. Okay. So, here's the game plan that I've been doing. Uh, kind of match like uh, D1 and D2 of STGCC footage and uh, mostly just footage. I wouldn't include the uh, pictures and all that. So, so basically if you would see that uh, on the first day I'm in different clothes, second day, different colors. So basically I'm gonna add both days uh, of footages and try to, the challenge is trying to get um, uh, at least 15 minutes in or 15 to 20 minutes in. So let's see how this one goes. So let me, it's a bit hot right now. Okay. So okay, just got a little bit dark. It is I'm in the shades. So anyway, um, so far Canon uh, does a good job in getting the sound in, even though it doesn't have a the built-in mic is not that good. But the strong, there's no strong wind. is okay, I guess. So it's pretty hard. Yeah. So day two, let's get to it. So I don't remember they having back checks last year, but it's pretty long queue yesterday. So let's get to it. There's one thing I want to highlight is that the pathway from the main building entrance to the event itself is pretty pathway. Uh, I I guess they, they booked the entire B1. I think it's B1. Uh, so yeah, the pathway is quite quite long. Walk. Oh, this is this is a rare, as rare as the Pokeballs. <laughs> yeah. 
and then like a small portfolio uh -huh. of different photographs of sales today. Uh -huh. Pikachu Pokemon collection. Uh -huh. As well as uh, another set of Pokeballs uh -huh. and the ones in frame. So is it possible like you tell me exactly how you came about like setting up a booth? How how difficult was it? Okay, um, setting up a booth is actually quite simple. You just have to contact SDGCC uh -huh. and on your website, uh -huh. and then um, you just let them know what size of the booth you want, and then send you the details. So you actually communicate with them. They are communicating with uh, three of their staff, and they were quite uh, friendly and helpful. Yeah, really, really friendly and helpful. And patient too because I was so busy with school and everything. Yeah. So I know I know you've been doing uh, the photography for quite a number of years, but how how was it like getting all this framed up? Like uh, the, how how's the amount of work okay, that went into it? Took me two full days of work. All all of this. Yes, two full days of work to go to get the materials. Mm -hmm. um, decide on. It was a long process to decide on what photograph to choose. Yeah. It's a SDGCC, mm -hmm. so you can't just have like Star Wars pics or Marvel pics, mm -hmm. right? You need to have variety so that you can cater to all types of audiences. Right. Yeah, so you have to buy the frames, print the, the pictures, get the correct size. I actually screwed up a few times and cropped it at the wrong size so you can fit the frame. And when you finally get it done, you have to insert everything and you can see. I'm trying to keep it as brand new as possible so it's not even uh, damaged. There won't be any damages or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. So yeah, nice frame though. Alright, so if there's anyone who's trying to like follow you on Instagram, where can they like Yeah, find you can follow me at uh, Imagining J, right? Yeah. Or... Imagining J. Alright. So if anyone wants to find his uh, very awesome work with uh, Star Wars especially, it looks like that. So, um, we'll give you on the spot man, on Instagram and
When is that? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. I've, I've got the picture in front of me. But then, right, it's right. just a tiny little drawing. Right. And it's all, the only thing that I can draw. Aliens, that's it. Yeah, your alien drawing is really, <laughs> really good. So, Thanks. So, okay. So, is there any contributions right now that... Um, or is it right now the display is like by one person? Or no. Or uh, there are about six to seven people involved in the original art. Uh, my art will be one. Oh, only one. Only one. one. Right. Uh, the rest are by members. Uh, six, six to seven members. Right. So, okay. Is it possible like you show me exactly what's going on here? Okay. Here, it shows the... Um, the stages of production. Uh -huh. okay. It starts with a script. A comic usually starts with a script. So you start with a script and the artist will do a rough. Uh -huh. A rough and then the, the actual artwork before it is inked. Right. Then uh, the, the wood balloons are added. Uh, the image is finally scanned, colored and uh, printed into actual comic. So, so these are examples of uh, the, the, the actual pages mm -hmm. that goes through the stages of production. This is penciling, uh -huh. that's inking, this is adding the word balloon. By the way, this is uh, a McFarlane Spidey. Alright. And then, uh, and that is a uh, uh, color guide. Alright. So that's coloring. The X-Men through the decades. Uh -huh. From, from uh, Werner Roth to, uh, to Neil Adams, mm -hmm. uh, Don Heck and John Byrne. Alright. So talk about a little bit how exactly this came about. Like what was the idea? The, like, idea, the idea was to, Was it from a from a coffee shop <laughs> idea? The idea was uh, to educate uh, SEC members uh -huh. about uh, original art. And we, we proposed to STGCC uh -huh. and they decided that it was a good idea and here we are. So how difficult was it to get it running? It was to get the entire thing together. Yeah. Uh, it took us four months. Four months. Four grueling months. Four months. And it was only confirmed last Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> that was when I signed the contract oh, and okay. we got it together. So, alright. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of uh, movement involved. Talk about the logistics, trying to get it here. Oh, uh, okay. The, the art itself is easy to move. Uh -huh. Right? Getting the uh, frames together, because the frames have to be of a correct size. Initially, uh, they were thinking of hanging the frame on uh, fishing lines. Uh, then, okay. But that is a permanent fixture and we uh, want to bring the artwork back mm. after every uh, after each day. Mm. So uh, we negotiated with uh, SPCC and they decided that this is using using a ledge or platform mm. with a better uh, better display uh, yeah. uh, better solution. So would you be possible to share what is the most alright two things two things. Most expensive? Most expensive and most hardest to acquire. Um, according to uh, Wing Kyung, this possibly is the most expensive. Uh -huh. Okay, this uh, is Wing Yeah. This is Wing huh? Yeah. Okay, this is Wing Kyung. That is his pick. So, so the, the question was uh, the it, most expensive it, and the most difficult to acquire. Video, video taping you. Uh -huh. It's expensive. Uh, in terms of current value, that's probably the most expensive piece. Alright. Uh, Estimated value a bit hard to tell uh, because unfortunately it is only one of the piece uh, and nothing of that type has been available for sale in well, at least the last 10 or 15 years. Oh, that's a long time. So I really can't tell you what a true value is. If I had to guess, upwards of 50,000 US dollars uh, safely. Uh, how does to acquire? That's a difficult question because a lot of the things I buy are just through an auction. Uh -huh. So when it comes to an auction, it's who is willing to spend money on. If you know, you're willing to spend enough money to buy a given enough uh, money. So I don't, I don't really have anything that's really, well, I would say it was difficult to acquire so much as expensive to acquire. And I'm not sure I want to talk about that, that kind of thing. <laughs> Right, pretty much this is a very awesome display by the way. So there's definitely a lot of effort that went into this. So four months, right? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, so, are you guys gonna do this again next year? Uh, we don't know. This was an opportunity because this is like the 10th year uh -huh. anniversary of uh, XPCC. Uh -huh. If they invite us again, we would love to do it. Alright. So, hopefully, um, it gains some traction, then uh, probably gain some kind of support. So, maybe next year, yes. uh, China News Asia. <laughs> or somewhere down the line. I don't know. Alright. So, alright. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much. So, uh, have a have a have a good day and enjoy enjoy the event. Thank you so much. All right. Alright guys, I decided to put an end to the video because like um, I took way too many um, um, video materials so I kind of like uh, decided that the ones remaining I'm gonna like put it in some kind of like a b-roll kind of like, like a video which will be edited like next right after this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and um, uh, I managed to actually uh, put two interviews, a very impromptu video uh, interview uh, within the section so hopefully uh, you guys like that um, anyways I'm um, showing support to some of the local guys I'm um, doing their stuff which is always amazing and um, other than that like um, this year STGCC uh, 2017 has been uh, I guess it has been satisfying because there's plenty more booths compared to like last year um, the floor plan is kind of like um, a bit confusing because uh, it's like a merry-go-round or like where to go when you're like the first time going there you're like um, I'm not sure where to go and all that stuff. <laughs> there's two big sections, obviously the main event itself and then there's like the gaming section which I uh, didn't really uh, explore too much um, because I don't know maybe because uh, there was an overwatch because that was a game I like but it wasn't represented there I, uh, but that, that's a small gripe but anyway um, yeah the event has been satisfying uh, fine to me at least. Uh, met up with a couple of friends, uh, had a good time and um, but the I guess the thing that I want to highlight is that there's not a lot of uh, comic um, um, outlets. There's only like one um, booth which is uh, Comic Odyssey from the Philippines. Other than that um, there's not a lot of like comic booth but there's a lot of comic representation in terms of artists and writers and all that stuff. So I guess uh, there's a balance but I, I wish there was like more booths and stuff like that for comics at least um, selling stuff but anyway they, they probably could do that like next year see how that thing goes but uh, yeah hopefully you guys like the video uh, and um, just uh, stay tuned for the b-roll yeah like comment and subscribe cheers